Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, SAP ABAP new syntax and now we will start with conditional statements. You all know we have two conditional statements. One is if and another is case. Now in SAP ABAP new syntax, if is replaced by cond and case is replaced by switch. So firstly, we will come on to con and then we will come on to switch. In SAP ABAP new syntax, rather than if, we need to use con statement and rather than case, we need to use switch statement. So firstly, we will come on to this con and then we will come on to switch. So firstly, what is con statement? Con statement is a replacement of if in SAP ABAP new syntax. From ABAP 7.4 onwards, SAP introduced the con statement. Now what SAP is saying, we need to use con statement instead of if statement. Now why, why SAP is recommending? In case of if statement, we need to specify the variable which is getting filled in each and every condition. Suppose if I will go for the example. Suppose this is already written logic. Suppose we have one if condition, else if condition, else condition. Suppose in all the conditions, we are filling LV underscore text variable. So we need to specify in each and every condition which variable is getting filled. But if you are using cond, there is no need to specify the variable which is getting filled. Just see, there is a cond statement. We have not specified the variable which is getting filled. We just specified only one time. The result is going to this LV underscore text. And at the starting, when we started this topic, I told this SAP ABAP new syntax are the more effective way of writing the logic. And you know what do you mean by effectiveness? Means you are getting the result by writing less code, by writing the less number of lines of code. And we are not writing LB underscore text multiple times. We are only writing single time. And we have to use which statement? Comp statement. So if I will read the theory, in case of if statement, we need to specify the variable which is getting filled in every condition. But in con statement, there is no need to mention the variable which is getting filled in every condition. So con is more effective way of conditional logic rather than if statement. So firstly, we are targeting that SAP replaced if with con in SAP above new syntax. Then we will come on to case. Case is replaced by switch in SAP ABAP new syntax. And we will do the same to same thing. Firstly, I will show you by old way. Then I will show you by new way. How we will, for firstly, I will show you if, then we will simply go for con. And this is the practice we will follow in this whole series of SAP ABAP new syntax. So I will go for the system and we will do the practical. I will go to SC38 transaction code. Suppose I will give some title to the program. Suppose I will say ZPRG new syntax. Suppose I will write call. I will go for create. Suppose I will give the title demo on new syntax. Demo on, suppose I will simply write con state. I will choose the type as executable program and I will go for save. 
I will save this as a local object. Now I will take a requirement. Firstly, we will fetch that data from VBAK table. If I will go for SC11 transaction code, this is our VBAK table. Now, from this VBAK table, we will fetch the sales document number and we will fetch the amount and EDWR. Now, if the amount is less than 5000, we will display that this sales order is low priority. Suppose if the amount is greater than 5000 and less than 10,000, we will display this sales order is of medium priority. If the amount is greater than 10,000, we will simply display that this sales order is of high priority. So we have three conditions. One, if the amount is less than 5,000. One, second, if the amount is greater than 5,000, but less than 10,000. And what is third condition? the amount is greater than 10,000. So we have three if conditions. So firstly, I will show you through if, else if, else, then we will simply see through count statement. Now what I will do, firstly, I will declare a structure type. Types. I will write begin of LTY underscore data. What is first column? VBELN type VBELN underscore VA and ETWR type and ETWR underscore AK. I'll check the data element. Is this the same? Yes. In your system, it might be underscore AP. You can use whatever is in your system. I will end this structure. I will declare internal table and work area type table of LTY underscore data data LWA underscore data type LTY underscore data. So firstly, we will fetch that data. As of now, we don't know how to write a query based upon the new features of OpenSQL. Once you proceed in the same playlist, yes, you will learn also that part. But as of now, we will write the, the query in the same way we know. But once you proceed in the same playlist, you will also know how to write the OpenSQL query by using the new feature, new as new syntax. So how we are writing the query? Select. VBELN and ETWR because in this video we are targeting the if part how we can replace if with call rest will be as it is whatever we know from VBAK into table LT underscore VBAK I will go for where condition where VBELN in S underscore B B E L N. Sorry, I forgot to take the input. I will take a input. I will take a select option. Rich. S underscore B B E L N. Four. L V underscore B B E L N. And now I will simply declare L V underscore B B E L. Type data element of VBEN. I will provide the selection text. Go to. I have not declared the internal. Okay, it is LT data. Sorry. I'll check the syntax and activate. Now I will simply provide the selection text to go to text elements, selection text, DDIC reference. Now 
I will simply go for loop statement. Loop at LT underscore data into LWA underscore data. Now, what is our first if condition? If the amount is less than 5,000, less than equal to 5,000. So I will write if work area hyphen and ETWR is greater than equal to zero, it is greater than equal to zero, but it is less than equal to 5,000. It is less than equal to 5,000. You can use this LE also. It is totally your wish. Less than equal to or you can here write GE greater than equal to. It is totally your wish how you want to write. Now we will simply write LV underscore text is equal to low priority. Anyways, we need to create text symbol. Now I will go for another condition, else if. Now if the amount is greater than 5000, it is less than equal to 5000. So here I will write greater than 5000. But it is less than equal to 10,000. And ETWR, it is less than equal to 10,000. Then we will simply write LV underscore text is equal to medium priority. Sorry, I'll copy again. It is your medium priority. Now, if it is greater than 10,000, I'll go for else part. LV underscore text is equal to high priority sales order. I will go for end if. I will declare LV underscore text. Suppose I am writing LV underscore text type care 20. I will check the syntax. Okay, it is syntactically correct. Now I will do the right statement. Right. I will display the sales order. What is the sales order variable? B B E L N. Now I will not display the amount. I will simply display it is low priority, medium priority, or high priority, and that is in this particular variable. Now we should not use or we should not hard code. You should always use the text symbol. So I am writing text hyphen 000. I am writing text hyphen 001. Here I will write text hyphen 002. Now I will copy this and create the text symbols. I will create from here itself. Or you can simply go for go to also. It is totally your wish how you want to go. Yes, I want to create. Yes. Now 000 is low priority. 001 is. I'll simply make 001. It is your medium priority. And 002 is high priority. Now I will simply activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with conditional statements. You all know we have two conditional statements. If and case. Now in SAP ABAP new syntax, 
if is replaced by pond and this particular case is replaced by switch. So firstly, we are targeting con statement, which is a replacement of if statement. So SAP introduced con statement from ABAP 7.4 onwards. You all know that is SAP ABAP new syntax. Now, in case of if statement, you need to write the variable every time, but the variable you are filling. And yes, we have done this thing. We are filling this variable. So we need to write in each and every condition. But whenever we will go for cond, there's no need to write this variable again and again. There's no need to write in each and every condition. And yes, cond is more effective. Way. You all know new syntaxes are more effective because we are getting the result by writing less lines, numbers, less number of lines of code. And this is what we will do. So as a part of that, we created a program. I declared internal table, work areas. I declared select option. We fetch the data. We put the loop and I put the if statement. See, as of now, we are only targeting in this video what is the replacement of if other things are by old things only. Once the topic will proceed, you will realize we will replace all these things with new syntax. We will replace query. We will replace this all in like We will replace all this with inline declaration. So in the upcoming videos, you will learn all those things. But currently we are only only targeting this if part in this particular video. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.